I'm just at Square, and welcome back to another gameplay video of The Division. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I did get in my weekly HVT runs, and yes, I do have all eight of them done. I thought that I'd just stop showing you I got them done, and just try to prove to you that I did get them done, and just show you the damn pieces and do it that way. How about that, guys? Other than that, how do you like the way this guy looks now? Uh, just a quick thing before we do get into the weekly HVT rewards. Uh, here's the thing, guys. I'm sure if you logged on today, this is Friday. Uh, you ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got no job. But anyways, it's uh, the 1st of September. And I came on and the rewards vendor had two more masks, one more uh, weapon skin, and a full set of Outbreak for me plus two more caches of classified gear set so I have no idea if this was intended for everybody or if it was for the people that actually uh, was good enough to get it but anyways that's why I got the mask right there and so on and so forth other than that guys let's get to it alright we're going to our guns and we do have a black market RPK 74E with 14% damage to target out of cover. Talents of self preserve Destructive, and Adept. We also got a Convert SRS with 171% headshot damage. I think that's damn near close to being maxed. Talents of Determined, Accurate, and Vicious. We also have a M249B, 14% damage to target out of cover with Talents of Meticulous, Competent, and Predatory. We also have a military G36, which I may keep this one. It's a 22% enemy armor damage. It's, and it's also got um, talents of responsive, predatory, and, and focused. And the thing about it is, is that predatory is not really horrible. Um, it's kind of like a hill over time if you actually kill a target. I would not recommend running that in the DZ against, well... I'll we'll just put it to you this way. I would not run that as far as PvP goes, but as far as NPCs go, then, you know, it can help you in a pinch. Uh, and focused is also on it as usual. We got a military M870, 336% stagger, talents of predatory, talent unforgiving, and trained. We got a tactical sausage, as they call it, it's an SASG 12K. With 341.5% stagger, talent of accurate, unforgiven, and brutal. So that will be all of our guns. And yes, this week we did actually get some mods that I wanted to show you. We got a 265 firearms mod with 3% skill haste. And we also got a performance mod that is 2% or two percent pulse critical hit damage. We get, didn't get any mods for our guns that's any good, so we ain't going to show any of that off. Mm. Alright, and we're going to our chest, and we got a final measure chest with 1936 armor roll on it with 1264 stamina, and your attributes are 8% skill haste, 14,266 health, 54% ammo capacity, and this is where I'm going to be telling you what I would do with it. Alright, so this is final measure. And uh, with Final Measure, it's just really up in the air of what you really want to do with it. For me, I'd probably do with Electronics because I love my skill builds. But hey, it's your build. Build it the way you want. Alright, so in the mask, we didn't get any mask this week. In the knee pads, we got a Dead Eye uh, knee pad, 1616 armor, 1268 stamina. Uh, tributes of 15,551 health. We got 33% disorient resistance, 28% shot resistance, and 29% disrupt resistance. I would definitely be rolling damage to elites on this. I'm almost positive you can do that. Actually, I'm more than the positive right there. Proves my point. All right, so we got a Firecrest knee pads with 1649 armor roll on it, 1258 stamina, 8% exotic damage resilience. 29% bleed resistance, 30% burn resistance, and 29% disorient resistance. Again, 
damage to elites would be rolled. Alright, we got a Tactician's Authority knee pad, 1648 armor roll on it, 1153 electronics, attributes of 3.5% enemy armor damage, 28% uh, disrupt resistance, 12% damage to elites, 32% burn resistance. Now this is Tactician, automatically electronics right there would be uh, 1272 if I could get it there. Right, now we go on over and we do got one backpack, a Lone Star backpack, which is the shittiest gear in the game, excuse my French. But to be honest, you don't know how much this gear set sucks. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could make a killer build of it. I done made a build video about it. Uh, it's iffy if. If you actually made a build also with it, to make it to where you could get healed over time plus the armor then that may be a good uh, pretty good one uh, hint hint maybe I could make something like that down the road but anyways this is Lone Star Backpack 1288 armor uh, 1229 electronics with attributes of 11,877 skills power 14% burn resistance the burn resistance would automatically get rolled off and I would be trying to get ammo capacity Sorry, but I would. All right, we go to the gloves. I'm trying to see if we got any gloves. No, we don't got any gloves this time around. And when it comes to the back, the uh, holsters, we only got one. We got a sensors called holster at 991 armor with uh, 1118 firearms, 1206 stamina, 1259 electronics, and 3.5% critical hit chance. I definitely leave everything except for the firearms. The firearms would really be needing to get beefed up. It's 1118, so it needs to be getting to 1272 as fast as possible. Now, guys, yes, this week wasn't the greatest as far as how many I did get. But, you know, let alone, you know, I did show you everything that I did get. And I really do appreciate you guys for watching. And another thing, guys... Uh, have you not noticed that between the classified gear set pieces and the regular gear set pieces that the colors and the looks of the gear pieces are different uh, just for instance I'll give you one example uh, the chest piece I believe okay look at final measure you see what it looks like it's like dark blue and, and so on and so forth that's not classified this is classified so you see the difference. Maybe it's nothing to really say nothing about, but I thought I'd kind of bring that up. And that's just an example of how they're doing different things with classified gear sets. Other than that, guys, if you liked the video, if it's helped you, if you enjoyed it sitting here, um, hey, guys, give me a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm always looking for new people to talk to and show my content to also and if you do subscribe click on that little bell over there click on notifications so you never miss another video of mine other than that guys this has been just hit square i will see you next time